Welcome back again. Now today we're going to start to talk about videos. And just to frame this for you guys, I know that a lot of you have been worried about the content because the LinkedIn process isn't, isn't that difficult. So you go out and you invite people, not rocket science. And then once you've invited them and they accept, then you send them an acceptance message. Thank you for accepting. Then after, the ex uh, after you've sent that out, you do follow-ups and you build your sales pipeline over time within the app. That's really easy. Anybody can do it. But the difficulty is not spamming, not hard selling, not trying to talk about your product or service, all the stuff that we've been through so far in, in previous episodes. And that's the tricky bit. And I took you guys through the captivating one-liner, which is wonderful in principle, but in practice, it means you guys have to do some work. You have to write an article potentially, you've got to think through it, possibly have it designed. It's not easy. So today I'm going to give you an option that's a little bit simpler and um, that you guys can potentially use. And I'm trying to make it as simple as possible, but I still recommend obviously, you know, doing as great a job as possible as you can, specifically on how your one-liner gets thought of and how let's switch the speaker view there here we are how your one-liner gets gets thought of and how it gets executed because it really does make a difference and gladys shared us a story not too long ago about how she already got responses and meetings almost immediately uh, just by sending an, an article through um and the art to be perfectly honest gladys the the, the captivating one-liner was okay but it wasn't like massively provocative but it was still enough to get the appointment and the job uh, well, I don't know if you got the job at the end of the day, the, the gig, the contract, um, but you can see how the process starts to quietly unfold in the way you roll it out. But today I want to talk a little bit, little bit about video because the principles of everything you've learned so far is that your credibility is everything. So your credibility has got to be improved with each message you send. So you can't send out a message that could potentially damage your credibility or reputation. Everything should be expanding on it. And that means you've got to show that you are a industry expert, thought leader, et cetera, with every message you send out. The moment you become a spammer or a hard seller, that's where the problems lie. And then we talked about the bit of demoralization when no one responds after your first message. Oh no, uh, they must hate me. No, they don't. You've got to send out a second message and a third message. You've got to try emails, possible LinkedIn voice message. Think of it as a waterfall. Think of it, think of it as a waterfall. And as the waterfall goes down and down and down, it looks like nothing's happening until the water splashes at the bottom. Then you make a huge splash. That's your messaging process. And that's your goal is to, is to make that huge splash. Now, a video can really, really help that process to do it. And the technique I'm going to show you today is not the only technique. There's lots of different ways of doing videos. Um, I'm just going to show you the quickest, simplest way that I can possibly think of that we're starting to roll out for, for some of our clients now that can help you. So to begin with, when do you send out a video? You can send it out pretty much any time. Your video link could be your captivating one-liner. In other words, you create a captivating one-liner that becomes the title of your video. So in your LinkedIn messages, when you send your acceptance message, for example, hi, Simon, thanks for accepting my, uh, my, mess, uh, my LinkedIn invitation. As promised, here's my video with the title, and the title is provocative. They click on it, off they go. Now, you can even say in there, here is a quick two-minute or three-minute video just to quickly um, illustrate how we could potentially work together. I don't want to waste your time with a meeting if we don't have to. Something along those lines. So you can word it really friendly. Or you can use the video in like message three or four. So you've sent an invitation message, you've sent an acceptance message, you've sent a, a, a PI message, which we've talked about, professional insight message. You possibly sent out an email, still not getting a response. Now you can link to the video. I've just sent out a quick two or three minute video that um, reiterates what I said earlier. So these are the different places that you can use the video. Most importantly, if somebody clicks on your video, you immediately get hold of them. If you can get a phone number, try phone them, or at least start really reaching out to them as best as you possibly can. Because if they click and watch your video, they are seriously interested. And now you know for a fact that they know who you are because they've just watched you speak in a video. Now, some of you guys are worried about video. I mean, I'm gonna try and make this so easy that you don't have to be scared. If you've got your video on right now in the Zoom call and you're willing to have a conversation on Zoom, then you can do a video. That's how easy it is. The hard part is making the video relevant. And that's what I wanna help you guys structure today. Does that make sense, guys? So even if you hate video and you don't want to be on video, surely you don't mind spending two or three minutes just recording a quick one with you. I'm sure you can do it. Um, if you still really hate video, then only do the written word. 
and you'll still be okay. But I'm really trying to give you guys every single possible option. All right, cool, right. So to, but to begin with, to begin with, to begin with, I want to give you guys a bit of an update. Okay, so update. I have now changed one of my profiles to the virtual assistant army, the VA army. And this is, you've, you know, you've been following these sessions um, for a while now, and you've watched me develop this VA army over time. In fact, who knows, maybe in six months time, we'll be talking about how this startup grew into a multi-million dollar business. And I'm living on a beautiful, magnificent 10 million US dollar property in Hawaii. But anyway, it's always possible. But for now, still kind of startup mode. But I want to show you what I did because I'm one of those people who's not very thorough and that's bad. And I've told you guys this, thorough people make great salespeople. If you're not thorough, you're not a good salesperson. Therefore, technically speaking, I'm not a good salesperson. Um, and you don't have to have this in crazy personality like I do or love to be in front of a camera or want to do courses and talk and chat and free this and seminar that. You don't have to be that to be a great salesperson. In fact, in some kind, sometimes it's detrimental. You need to be diligent. That's what makes a great salesperson. You need to be diligent. Um, all right. So look what I did, guys. I changed my LinkedIn profile, right? And I changed it to the VA Army, did a background. Remember I told you guys about the big three, nice professional photograph, nice professional background, and a, a nice um, bio. Those are the three things that you really need to, to as the basics. So I put that together. The VA Army partners with virtual assistants for the specific purpose of generating high volume sales for our clients. I'm going to write that even better later, but I quickly put that together. Cool. So what else did I do? I went to the VA Army and I created a landing page, a LinkedIn company page. Brand new, brand new. Right now, I'm, I'm looking for virtual assistants. So all I've done is said, I'm looking for virtual assistants. I have, I'm not really, I am selling it. I'm obviously, I want, I want to generate clients, but right now I'm more interested in generating VAs. And a lot of VAs are actually on my course now. So hello VAs, if you're on here, good to have you. Um, and it's really exciting because look here, last time I told you, I think it was last week. I think I told you I had a hundred VAs. Look who I have now. This is the list of all the VAs coming into our database. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, I have 271 guys, VAs that have signed up. What I also do is I track where they come from. Most of them come from LinkedIn, but everybody, every now and again, you'll see a name. Uh, look here. These are referrers. So these are virtual assistants that actually referred other virtual assistants by creating a tracking link. And I did quickly allude to this last time. So how did I do this? What I did, right, is I created a form. And it's not that difficult to build, guys. There's lots of different systems that do that. We do, we do this for our clients. We built a form uh, of VAs wanted, and I showed you what I did. Created a landing page. And this little landing page has a little video on it, which I did, and a couple of steps to get started, and then they can sign up below. So they only sign up by going through and reading all of this. So the people who sign up already know what this is about. So that you, they have to jump through a couple of hoops to, to sign up. It's not just like we're just taking any old person that comes in. So this is how the landing page works. And then at the end of the landing page, all I do is I can just add an affiliate tag or a tag and ref equals Scott Kundle, for example. Now, if I take that and I send it out, anybody who fills out this form will have my name next to theirs, like Jacqueline here. See, look how many people have come in. LinkedIn, LinkedIn 2 is from another job post that I did. I'm going to show you that now. Um, Winnie, you can see all of these coming in. So my target is to get to 500 VAs and then start really pushing it. So it's exciting. You guys are actually watching this grow using the same methodology that I showed you last time. It's just inviting people, building your viral form, going there, using the app. Here they are. It's all in here. Um, if you have a look at my ready to join my army, Heaps of them here going through the process like I showed you. So I've invited people and I've taken them through the process. So you can watch this grow and, and you can sort of see how quickly it grew. And it's very quick. Just build a nice background image. If you don't know how to design it, somebody in this group must have a designer they can recommend or go to Fiverr or one of those freelancer. You can literally have a beautiful banner built for you for nothing. I would say probably five or 10 quid pounds, $20, whatever. You'll have a beautiful banner. I mean, you can ask anyone to do it, probably even cheaper. So guys, this is not an expensive process to build build it. It's all just in the way that you do your messaging. And I showed you how I did that message last time. So I wanted to update you with this because you can see how 
it's starting to grow and it's, and it's starting to blossom. Now, let's go back quickly to the videos. Shut that down. Right, let's talk about video quickly. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of notes and just show you. So, you stop sharing again, just so I can ask, so you guys are fully aware. Right, you want to record a two to three minute video, that's all. You don't want to waffle. You don't want a hard sell, but you can mention the solution a little bit towards the end. You probably do want to get it video edited afterwards. Again, Fiverr Freelancer, really cheap to get it video edited. And you want to just make sure, though, that you practice and you script it first. Don't just sit there and start recording a video for fun. You can do it to practice. Just sit there and record and chat and see what happens. But it's much better that you really script it. And I'm going to show you the script that we use for our clients. And then you guys can yay, nay, love, don't love, and tell us how you, how you feel about it. All right. So first of all, just record the video of you looking into the screen. Now, how to do that. If you guys are familiar with Loom, Loom is a great option. So you go to loom.com. It's a little Chrome extension, and you can record it. It's so easy that you don't even have to load it, upload it to YouTube. It loads it to your, at your own personal page. So if you use Loom, you record it, and your video is done, sorted. So that's one way of doing it. But I do recommend that you send it to a video editor first and then possibly upload it to YouTube because it is a bit better to have, a, have, have, it, have it on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, the other tool that I use is this thing called a Power Rec. That's also a pretty good screen share. It also records videos. Um, but it's really, it's not that complicated. Okay. So you record the video of you looking at the screen. Um, add the backgrounds afterwards in editing, right? And what I mean by backgrounds, great backgrounds, and I'm going to show you when I show you the script. This is a live script that we're doing for a client, by the way, which I'm going to show you. It's great. You don't, no one wants to see you talking, no matter how beautiful and pretty you are, and you are beautiful and you are pretty, but no one wants to still stare at you for three minutes nonstop. So you've got to interact with screen grabs. And the way to do that is you simply just use things like links to um, articles or, or if you sell software or a demo or in, interlace it with, with um, a PowerPoint, something, a little slide with, with, a, with a diagram on it, whatever, to make it a bit more interesting. Don't preach, don't do a sermon, don't do a seminar, just inter interact with some, some backgrounds. Now, when you're recording on Zoom, when you actually hit record, I don't think I can really do it now, but um, when you record, your photograph will be in the middle you can talk, you can shrink your photograph and move your photo into the corner so you can actually show screen grabs as you go. So you're recording your screen while you're talking and then you can show what you're doing and make your, your face bigger when you need to. Then you don't even need video editing. But I do recommend you use video editing because they can do a nice beginning and a nice end. So it's professional and it looks good. Remember, it's your credibility. All right, okay. So this is a live one that we did for a client. So you start off by saying, my name is Sharon Smith, and this is a private video to my colleagues in the hospitality industry. Why do I say it's a private video? And why do I mention the industry? Very simple, guys, and you should know the answer to this. Private video makes it sound more personal. You don't have to do a private if you don't want it. You can publish it to YouTube and make it public, but you can also publish it to YouTube and make it unlisted, which is not a bad idea. But if you show it's private, it's, it's more provocative because you can say things that you're not willing to normally say to, to just everyone, especially if you're captivating one liner is quite, quite provocative and you don't want everyone to see it, only the people on your LinkedIn. Um, this is a private video to my colleagues in the hospitality industry. This shows that you are part of their industry, that you are a member of their team, that you get their industry. And I've been through this ad nauseum, guys. I've really explained this and hopefully you guys get it, um, why you mentioned your industry. Or it could be all my colleagues who are also... HR managers, if you're targeting a job title. We went through this in the, in the captivating one-liner stuff. It really, really helps um, to talk about your, um, uh, to mention the industry. Okay, I recently wrote a rather provocative piece entitled UK Hotels. A Amazon and Tesco have stolen half your staff. The few you have left are stretched, multitasking and doing jobs they didn't sign up for. So this is the captivating one-liner. In some cases, if your video is the captivating one-liner, then obviously you have to leave this out. But if you've already written an article before, then this video will supplement that, um, that article that you wrote. Um, if you read Big Hospitality magazine, you'll see that the hospitality industry in the UK faces a shortage of 188,000 staff. Now remember, she, she's reading this as a script, so they can't see this on the screen. But that what you do then is you show 
Big Hospitality magazine, and you interlace that with in the video with a picture of that of that article. Now, why do you do this? Because you're showing the, uh, the you're telling their rational brain that there is an actual problem with the industry, and that you are reaffirming reaffirming that what you said in your captivating one liner is true. Okay, so using a rational statistics or or, or backup via a credible source that basically says that your pain point that you've been talking about is real and justified. Daily Business Group UK says nine out of 10 businesses in our sector will face staff shortages this year. The same again, reaffirming. And the same latest labor shortage woes are echoed in Spirit, Spirit's business. So these are all magazines and hospitality publications in the UK. Now, what you're doing is you're showing credibility that the problem that you are talking about is real. And because you are, are starting in this way, this is a private a video to my colleagues in the hospitality industry, you're telling them that what I'm about to say is something that we need to deal with. It's an issue. Um, Gladys, if you're listening, you talk about feet and you talk about the, the issues around feet. To, my, to the HR managers out there in South Africa right now and the factory managers out there, we have a problem because people are working too long on shoes that are bad for them and they are having problems with their feet. That means more sick leaves, according to this magazine, more sick days and more this problem and more hospital visits, blah, blah, blah. And you back it up. So you're going out there and you're telling them that there's a problem. Okay, you should know this, guys. It should be fa fairly, fairly straightforward. Now, this is called Once Upon a Time. Now, Once Upon a Time is you do storytelling to tell the viewer that you understand what they're going through and you feel their pain. So how do I know your pain? Because I've been through it. So you tell the story. The owners of my company, Hop Software, or in this case, it could be I, right? But the owners of my company, Hop Software, are themselves pub owners. They have staff running around like chickens without heads. They run the hotel and they are pulling pints one minute and sending invoices the next. Luckily, they have help in the form of software. Now, what you've done is you said, I feel your pain. I know people who feel your pain. You're not the only one who's going through it. I get you. So you're creating empathy now. So you had left brain earlier and now you have right brain. Then what she does is she just does two or three lines where she can interact her software and show what her software is doing or what the solution is or what the product is. Not selling the product, but just going very quickly. This is how um, you can, you, you only need two staff behind the bar instead of three because our software does da 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 da. So she's, she's going to interact with that process. And this is obviously unique to every client. And you guys write that yourself. But don't do more than two or three lines, guys. This mustn't be more than a couple of minutes long. See what's happening? Then she finishes. The, the point is that I can't solve the hospitality staff crisis. So you're going back to the problem. But I can help your existing staff be so much more efficient. And you can add to that saving you money and blah, blah, blah. And you can quote some more statistics if you want to. You really got to write read this in your own words this is just an example you have to write this and read it in your own way don't look like you're reading it when you when you speak it really look into the camera practice it and, and make it look good you and i are already communicating on linkedin so once again you're going back to the linkedin side of things so if it's okay let's set up a call to help make your current hospitality staff more efficient and of course happier now how you finish off is entirely up entirely up to you um you don't have to um say, shall we get on a call? You can just leave the video like that and you can follow it up with, did you watch the video? What did you think of it? Track the clicks, that kind of thing. Um, but the goal here, guys, if they get through this video to the end, they know who you are. They've watched your video. They can see you get their pain. You've just elevated your credibility in their eyes. And that is the most important. Everything I teach is about credibility, 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 credibility. Nothing can give you more credibility than someone that's going to watch a three-minute video of you right till the end. And that's how you do it, guys. That's literally how you put your video together. You download Zoom, download a, a Power Rec. There's lots of these, these software. Um, Zoom is free. You can throw it on there. Um, Zoom is free for up to five minutes. So you, don't even, you definitely don't need more than five minutes. Um, and you've done it. You've literally got yourself a video. Go to somebody, ask them to make it look really professional, ask them to make it look good, make sure you've done your research first, make sure you've practiced it, make sure you script it, and bang, you've got a video. And that video is going to last you six months to a year because these problems are not going away. So you see how it's coming together, guys. You see, it's just another simple way to do a video. Um, this video isn't done yet, but I will put it on the, um, on the main uh, recordings page where all my lessons are. 
um, I'll, I'll put it on there. So you guys can look at some of the examples that we've done and how we've done some of these videos with clients. But the goal is guys, I, I, can't, tell, I can't reiterate this enough. Keep it so simple. Focus on your direct messaging. Use video when you need it. Use LinkedIn voice messaging when you need it. But make sure that you always build in credibility. And what you do is you're creating that waterfall effect. Again, what is the waterfall effect? Every message that you send out, as long as it's not spammy and building your credibility, is constantly just growing your um, relationship with that individual. And eventually, it's going to land at the bottom and you're going to create a huge splash. So guys, it was a relatively short one today. Hopefully, this is all, all going to help you. Um, I will go into Q&A now. I'm sure you guys have got lots of questions on that. But as a basic structure, take your video, record it. But by all means, and please, just do it, guys. Just do it. Just go and record a video. Just make it happen. Get it done. Send it to a few friends. Send it to a few colleagues in this group. Show them. Get some feedback from them. But that's, that's basically the structure. And there you go, guys. You've got a great video to follow the process. One more thing just before I finish off. And that is the results from video as compared with other media. Now, we hear stories time and time again of how often the, the, the reactions that you're going to get from videos are so good. Um, and from a statistical perspective, I just want, to, just want to reiterate that, guys. People are so much more reactive when you send out a video of you speaking with credibility and authority. And you'll watch those statistics go up. Now, someone just mentioned in the Q&A again, which is why I wanted to, to bring this up just to finish off, is that you can also personalize the beginning of videos as well. There's some great technology out there. And in fact, what we might do is get, get, uh, get somebody who's done this before and get another expert to tell us how you can personalize videos. So the script that I showed you today is standard. You kind of send it out to everybody, stock standard. It's exactly the same. But there's some great technology out there that can help you personalize the beginning of the video, put the person's name in, and that can really make a huge difference as well. So I just want to finish off by saying that. And once again, I look forward to seeing you next time.